just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. made around the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. two-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He's tackled at the 45. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Slides down. They'll drop in for a loss. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a three the That'll bring up third and eight. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 28. He chucks it downfield. The defender had it and then dropped it. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. He makes it to the 45-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And he just gets rid of it. 
from their own 45-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Fires to the wide out. First down. Fires out to his receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. And he's taken down at the 10. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From the 10-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 14. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. receiver fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here Texas State could take the lead with this field goal kicks up and it splits the uprights and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 26. The Bobcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. at the 38. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. And down he goes at the 48. side he's knocked out of bounds around the 42 yard line what is going on with his defense i mean don't get me wrong the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field they've got to try to change things up with their scheme be more aggressive attack do some things to change it up take some risks second down and six ball on the 38 He's in trouble. Slings it. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Big opening. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. We've played one quarter. Texas State in front, 3-0. 
And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. his tight end open, but he couldn't hold on to it. From the 17-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. South Florida is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They give to the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. Well, that did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. Makes the PAT. A quick two play, 69 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 10 3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it to the 25 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And it's almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers steps up throws it deep he's hit and taken down There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Nice run there. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Brought 
down at the 16. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. That makes it third and They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, USF. So it's the big hole. On the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. And he adds the extra point. The Bulls wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken at the five. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. It. He's in space. He's tackled in the open field. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28 yard line. Quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle in the 16 yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Makes it to the eight. The Bobcats are going to call their second timeout. So it's second down and about two yards to go. up a second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. He's tackled around the four-yard line. Texas State is looking to go up by three. There was some movement on the line. False start. Offense. 
Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. The Bobcats with a three-point lead. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Texas State has a three-point lead. Decent pickup. And he's taken down around the 44 yard line. out of bounds at the 49. He makes it out to midfield. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 45. Right 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37. That's good for a game of eight yards. Third down. Texas State is up a field goal. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. short and they'll turn it over and the defense comes through this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense and he's tackled around the 35 yard line that's a game of one on the play that brings us second from their own 35 yard line. Second down. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and one. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at about the 35. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That makes it second and ten. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third. They'll line it up again on third down. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Texas State holds a field goal lead. Nice run there as they work the outside. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Hits him hard at the 18. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and twelve. Tackle at the forty. Not a bad return. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 28. First down. 
first and ten. Ball on the 28. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. The Bobcats had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Quick throw. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it to the 37. So at the end of the third quarter, the Bulls lead it 17-13. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. to him before he could get back to the line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. back on the screen and he shoved out of bounds around the 48 yard line here by the defense stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes that moved them back and so it's another third down upcoming here and they get the sack and the linebacker gets in there for the sack great time to bring some heat from the linebacker spot made at the 32-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. South Florida is up by four. A little toss across the middle. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 37.
Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he is drilled at the 38. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 45. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and a, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. Good open field tackle. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. They didn't sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's out of bounds at the 36-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's got room. He steps out around the 25-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. And this play is number eight on the drive. He gets out to about the eight. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 29. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Just over a minute left. Let's it go. Almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly. Has it to the senior. To the 20. He's all the way. Touchdown. So the offense is going to go for two. He's got it for two. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is 24-21 USF. Looking so good right now. 
Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Under a minute left. Zips it to the back. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 47 yard line, second down. Once and all, going deep. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. With a quick throw. Incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Caught over the middle. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. He gets it up. He got it. We're going to overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four on the run. That makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Here's the tight end. Drops. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Wants to throw outside. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. From the 25 yard line, second down. He 
he goes out of bounds around the 22 yard line. That makes it 37. Quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 17. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. Kicks up, and he got it. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 18-yard line. That makes it third and three. Check 13. Check 13. 34 is right. 34 is right. Runs it left for a decent game. the catch and he's got nowhere to go that brings up second and nine second and nine coming up here ball on the 10 and they make the stop at the two yard line Touchdown, Bobcats. And he converts the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. The pass ball is incomplete. Number 20 was the intended receiver on the ball. Man left, man left. That makes it second and ten. Some steam on that throw. They'll bring him down at the nine yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. rid of this one here's the screen to the wide out and he's taken down around the six yard line this is from the five yard line it's third and goal four-yard line. Over the middle, got it. 
touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed. And if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. And down he goes, right around the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, first down. Steps out of bounds around the seven-yard line. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. They go to the ground, and he stops short. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. It's up, and it's through the uprights. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He passes it. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. to the 25-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. That's a great tackle at the 32. So the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. Kicks away, and it sails right on him. No good. Should do it. Our final tally in this one. South Florida, 37. Texas State, 34. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.